Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this kinetic typography animation. This is the last part of this kinetic typography animation series and before this tutorial, I have already uploaded 4 more parts of it. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure you check it now and without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. At first, I have taken a blank slide, so pick a text box drag it over here here I am adding some text selecting all the text change the font to TWCE and empty make it bold change the font size change the font color to white make it center now pick a rectangle drag it over this text box go to format from shape field change its color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it select send to back make sure this text box is in the middle of the rectangle then select this two and press ctrl g to group after that select this text box and make another copy of it bring it to here select all the text go to home decrease the font size change the text here i am typing explainer videos bring the text box to down make another copy of it bring it to here change the text selecting all the text increase the font size pick a rectangle again drag it over this text box go to format from shape fill changes color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it and send it to back make sure that the text box is in the middle of the rectangle select this two and press ctrl g to group then just bring it to here select all these three elements and place them here in the middle of our slide now before adding the animation we have to do something more pick a rectangle drag it over here to cover this portion go to format from shape fill changes color so that it matches with the background and from shape outline select no outline holding the ctrl shift drag it to right to cover this area again make another copy of it bring it to here cover this one resize it from this size a bit right click on it and send it to back holding the ctrl shift drag it to upward resize it from this side to cover the upper portion then select this group of element right click on it send it to back select this one do the same right click send it to back and now we can go for the animation part so go to animation click on animation pane to look over our animation status select this one and from add animation select fly in from effect option select from bottom keep this on click duration 0.75 seconds from effect option increase the smooth and press ok then select the second one from add animation select fly in again from here set a start after previous duration 0.75 seconds from effect option increase the smooth and press ok from effect option make sure it is selected from top select the last one from add animation select fly in from effect option select from bottom set a start after previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth end and press ok now we have to add the exit animation so select this one again from add animation under exit option select fly out from effect option select to write set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds delay 0.25 seconds from effect option increase the smooth start and press ok select the second one from add animation select fly out from effect option select to left set start with previous from this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start press ok select the last one from add animation select fly out again from effect option select to right set start with previous duration 0.50 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start and press ok and our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see that our animation is working so now let's move forward to our next slide here i'm taking a new slide for this pick a text box 
drag it over here here I'm adding a and symbol selecting this change the font to TWC and empty make it bold increase the font size change the font color make it center bring it to here in the middle make a copy of this text box increase the size of it here selecting this text decrease the font size make change the font color here I'm typing surprise bring it to here make another copy of it change the text selecting all the text decrease the font size and we need to resize the size of this text box bring it to here pick a rectangle drag it over this text box go to format from shape fill changes color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it send it to back make sure that the text box is in the middle of the rectangle select this two and press ctrl g to group now before adding the animation on these elements we have to do something more that is pick a rectangle drag it over here to cover this area go to format from shape fill changes color so that it matches with the background from shape outline select no outline then right click on it send it to back holding the ctrl shift drag it to right to cover this right side area resize it make another copy bring it to here resize it right click on it send it to back and then select this text box right click on it send it to back select this rectangle again right click send it to back select this element right click send it to back now we can go for the animation part so go to animation click on animation pane to look over our animation status and to add the first animation select this text box from add animation select fly in from effect option select from right Keep this on click duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth end press ok select the second text box from add animation select fly in from effect option select from left set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth end press ok select the third one from add animation again select fly in from effect option select from top set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow and increase the smooth end press ok now you have to add the exit animation so from add animation select fly out from effect option select to right set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds delay 0.25 seconds click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth start press ok select the second text box from add animation under this exit select fly out from effect option select to left set start with previous duration 0.50 seconds delay 0.25 seconds and increase the smooth start press ok do the same select this one from add animation select fly out from effect option select to top set start with previous click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start and press ok and our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see that this one is also working perfectly as i have already mentioned that this is the last part of this kinetic typography animation series so now you can download the full template I'll give the link in the video description. We work so hard to make these templates and we're providing all our templates for free. So show us your support that really inspires us. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. That's all for today. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.